so welcome to the online session and in today's online session we'll continue team building now in the last session we learned about team building the different stages of team building uh, what is a team what is a team player who's a team player and what is team building and we also learned the four stages of team building now today we're going to learn about the team roles now team roles is an important thing that you should know as a leader or as a manager see in a team there are different roles now uh, if a leader or a manager is not able to identify roles and assign roles to the to the team player then he'll not be a successful leader or a successful manager so let us try to understand what are team roles now first i'll go with an example let's take the simple example of a football team now there are different roles in a football team there is uh, a captain you have uh, a goalkeeper you have uh, a, a forward player you have a midfielder uh, you have a stopper back you have a right wing player you have a left wing player there are different roles in a football team now if i ask you which is the most important role in a football team well some would say it is a goalkeeper well i usually ask this in the classrooms well some some say it's it's a it's a forward player it's a striker he scores the goal some say it's a goalkeeper because he saves the goal and some say uh, it's it's a stopper back and some say it's a midfielder who who creates the opportunities for the uh, for forward player to score goals now it's difficult question if i ask you who is the most important uh, or which is the most important roles now well we, we the right answer would be that all the roles are equally important now coming to the uh, all the teams okay you, uh, you whatever team it is or only a sports team or a football team or, or a project team in a company or whatever team you are working in all teams have different roles now there's an important concept put forth by belbin a person called as belbin now belbin says that there are three important types of roles actually these are known as belbin's roles team roles okay he says there are three important types of roles and in this three types there are three three roles each so three into three there are nine roles in every team every team should have these roles according to belbin okay let's have a look at what these are he says there are three types of roles let us see what these are the first type of role is thinking role thinking role what do you mean by thinking role there are some people or there are some roles which which is all about thinking okay there are some people who does a lot of things a lot of uh, thinking in the team also called as think tanks okay these people are the think tanks they think about ideas ideas come here uh, a lot of uh, speciality things come here okay so the first type of role is the thinking roles okay we have three important types thinking role is the first type the second type of role is known as the action role some people think they make ideas they come up with ideas uh, they come up with uh, uh, what do you call a lot of uh, uh, technical things they come up with specifications uh, they come up with a lot of knowledge to the team and the next set of role is known as the action role these are the people who are in action always they are the people who implement things they actually perform things they execute things so this is known as the action role action role are those roles which help in the execution of things to get things done they do things they are people in action so the second type of role is known as the action role we are talking about the belbin's role the three types of role the first is thinking second is action role then what's the third one the third one is known as people role some there are some roles in the team okay which are people oriented there are some people there are some roles who take care of the people in the team they coordinate people 
okay they they they, they bring about team uh, uh, what do you call uh, they they bring team work in the in the team they bring about uh, uh, what do you call the uh, the essence of team they bring about team spirit they coordinate things they they keep the people together they keep the people together in the team so such roles are known as people roles so the three important types of roles coming in in the team roles according to belbings team roles is, the first one is the act, uh, first one is is known as the thinking roles the second one the action roles and the third one the people roles now let's see what are the different roles coming under the thinking roles now belbings says there are three uh, uh, roles coming under the thinking roles the first one is the plant role is one of the plant okay plant means a, a, an a idea generating plant okay a place where the ideas generated so there are some people there are some roles in the team or some team players who who come up with a lot of ideas they are called as the plants they come under the thinking role ideas and thinking the second role coming under the Uh, uh, the thinking role is known as specialist there are pa- some people who are specialists they they fun- they function as specialists in the team they have a lot of technical knowledge they bring a lot of knowledge to the team they bring technicalities in the team so if you if you speak about something they know the specification they know the technical things they have knowledge about that so the plan brings in ideas they brings in creativity and the specialist brings in technicalities and knowledge to the team and so these are the, uh, the these are all coming under thinking role and the third role in the thinking role is known as the monitor evaluator okay this is a is a role who monitors and evaluates things okay he he keeps track of things and evaluation he does the evaluation whether things are going in right direction whether everybody is doing the things assigned to them okay they are the evaluators or the monitors or the evaluators this is also thinking role okay they keep thinking about okay what will happen tomorrow what are our targets what are we supposed to do what is our plan is everything going according to the plan okay so though, though they are called as the monitors or evaluators now coming to the action role the second type of roles after thinking it's action now the action role there are again three types of roles okay three roles coming within the action role one is the implementer the implementer is that role who actually executes or implements the plans given by the thinking people they actually do they they implement then the second thing coming under the action role is uh, it is the shaper he shapes things okay and the implementer uh, does things and he brings he gives shape to the uh, to, to to the activities in the team and finally you have the finisher or the completer so these are the guys there are some people who cannot finish but there are some people they only start things and they they they, they start doing things and there are some people who does wonderful follow up and they actually complete the assignments they complete and finish the assignments so three roles in action roles are you have the implementer the shaper and the finisher or completer now coming to the final roles final set that is people roles in people roles there are three roles the first one is the coordinator the coordinator now this role is very important this guys are in they coordinate things okay they coordinate between the team players okay they do the coordination among all the people this thing so somebody is doing something somebody is doing something other so this guy he coordinates between all these all these different roles very important people role the second people role is a team worker he is a team worker there are some, some there are some roles he is a team worker he ensures that there is team spirit in the team he he ensures that there is team playing going on he ensures that nobody is playing uh, on his own and every, everybody is playing for the team that's a team worker and finally you have the resource investigator now this person knows exactly where to get the resources where to get the people he knows the talent of each person okay okay you need somebody to do accounting I, he knows who knows accounting okay you want somebody to uh, to uh, maybe to draw something he knows who is the creative person who can do something creative who can paint who can draw you want you want somebody to speak do a, uh, do a communicate he knows who is the person with communication skills so he is a resource investigator so that's a, again a people role so in the people roles you have three roles the first one is the coordinator 
the second one is the team worker and the final one the resource investigator so these are the nine roles the three types three roles in three types you have the nine roles so thinking roles you have the monitor you have the plant and the, you have the specialist in uh, in the action role you have the implementer you have the shaper and you have the completer and finally in the people role you have the coordinator you have the team worker and you have the resource investigator so basically as a manager as a leader you should know that you should assign the right role to the right person in the team if you can assign the right role to the right person in the team the team will perform well okay and you should know that everybody doesn't have the same role if somebody is weak some there are some people who are pessimist pessimistic in the team some people are very positive or you can say he is very optimistic so you need an optimist in the team you need a pessimist in the team sometimes you say he's he's always a negative fellow oh he is a pessimist let him let we will send him out of the team should not do that a pessimist also has his own role to play it's because of the pessimist you come to know about the problems that are going to come because optimist will be always optimistic he'll always talk about positive things he will never he will never foresee the problems that are coming it is a pessimist who comes up with the problems okay some of some are just starters they don't finish some are finishers so you say that this guy he only comes up with ideas he just he just starts things but he, do, he doesn't uh, complete it don't worry at least he has given a start there's a completer or a finisher who will complete it you should know whom to entrust to complete an, a project okay there are some people who only keeps talking who who is a good communicator you will say this fellow is only good for talking he doesn't do anything but th those people are required because you need a communicator to talk okay and you need a, and there are some people who always who always works you mean you need some such people you say well, he is a workaholic he only works he doesn't take care of other things such people are required to, to, to get your things done so basically all roles are required there is no uh, good role or bad role all roles have its role to play in a team so and the leader also has a role to play the leader's role is to identify the role of others and entrust the right role to the right person i think you have understood about what is team roles and hopefully i i would say you should understand and i wish you all to be wonderful leaders and wonderful managers and manage your team and uh, assign the right roles to your team members so signing off today uh, on today's online session and we'll i'll come back with another interesting topic on management thank you <laughs>